Good morning, you legends. I have my voice back a little bit more. If you heard my video, if you heard my video, if you watched my video yesterday, you'll know that my voice was, it just was effectively had completely gone by the end of the day. Day two of Gumbel, we are driving from Chantilly, where we are right now, I'll show you in a bit, to Milan. We're in a place called Domaine de Chantilly. As you can tell, it is a beautiful old castle. There's the driveway where we came down yesterday. I don't know if you can tell, but most of the cars have already left. It's only about eight o'clock in the morning. We have a very long day ahead. Before we get into any of that, can we just talk about how ludicrous it is to just have all of these cars casually parked up in this area right here. I mean, look, we've got a Speciali leaving in front of us right now from Belgium. We got Afrojax Aventador SV. We got an 812 Performante Spider right there. Flipping P1, just chilling in race mode. Team Salomon's Aventador SV Roadster. Time for us as Team Alpha to get going in a little bit though. So we're gonna pack the cars up. <laughs> Here we go, Team Alpha. Goodbye, Shanti. Good job, 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 So we lose so much time in fuel stops, guys. Everyone needs to run, we need to rush. This is not good, this is not what we need. Let's divide up the things we need to do. You fuel the car up, Yeah. we'll get drinks, food. So whilst I pay, you go to the toilet. That, this is an important thing with rallies like these, especially when you're kind of a bit late. Anything specific to eat? Yeah, a sandwich with some sausage and uh, something sweet also. Okay. Yeah. Uh, waters and uh, one uh, one coke. Okay, no, no, okay. No, 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 energy drink. Okay, okay, no, yes. okay. Drink. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. What are you going for? Sandwich? We need to speed this up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good. yeah that'll do. Any okay. Allergy or anything? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Allergies? You're good. Cool. We got food. We got water. We got sandwiches. And I've been to the toilet. We're good to go. How much was the tank? Ninety-seven. I thought we were just gonna have a chilled motorway drive like is often the case. Often? I'm making up new words. Often the case on this rally. However, keeping up with the Alphas is real. These guys are on it. I don't know how we ended up joining back with them because they were an hour ahead of us for a little bit because they were on it so much. We're going through the chicanes and let's just say we're making solid progress, guys. And that's the update I'm about to give you and I have now given you. Keeping up with this fella, in one of these cars <laughs> is an absolute mission. You were on it. Killed an entire species of bugs in the front here. Do you have any clue where we are? No, oh no. Yeah. I've been no trying idea. to find out where we broke down in the def in the Defender. Uh, it like, must have been not far from Chantilly. Yeah, and I was like, that'd be such a cool picture if we like replicated the first yeah. one. This team, Team Chill, they just had a puncture. I don't know if you can see it. They've got a spare tire down there. Yeah, we were driving past. We saw them. And we just thought, you know what, fellow gumballers, stop, see, check everyone's okay, first of all. And then usually you end up just having a laugh. Pretty random, helping out Bumby with a flat tire on the side of the road during gumball. But this is the great thing about gumball though. Everyone is here and we're all here to help each other. So yeah, pretty awesome. Uh-oh, are we about to get pulled? It'd be fairly hypocritical though, because the policeman's speeding right now. Yeah, it looks like we are good. This is part of the rally though, you know? This is not us trying to promote speeding, by the way. We were on a road, there was no one on the road at the time, and we were going a bit over the speed limit, not that much. Um, and so I think the police probably saw that and just thought, oh, these guys, like, okay, fine, they're going a bit over the speed limit. They're not putting anyone else in danger, which is always our one rule. Only ever, if you're late, and if you need to get someone a rally, go a tiny bit faster than you necessarily should, if you're not putting anyone else in danger. But on that jolly note, we made it. <laughs> How much of an issue is it we're that we're sure in yet, Germany? But they had police at that, that point. I mean, that means we haven't had that in any other country. No, and I, so I presume there will be police at the next exit area. Yeah. Those do was those donuts in me? In your car in Germany, yeah. They call it they call it a race. They think you're racing, yeah. so that's where the problem's coming from. And because we have a few stickers on cars, <laughs> we might encounter. They classify exactly. 
In case you guys haven't uh, followed, no. randomly ended up in Germany. We didn't know we were coming to Germany, but all of a sudden we were in Germany. And that's not ideal because they are not the biggest fans of Gumball or any rally or race for that matter. Been stopped at the border going into Switzerland, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is how confusing it all is. And I was told all the papers were in the glove box. Turns out that we might be missing some papers. So I'm not sure what happens now. And what's the reason for you? For the visit for here? For driving this car? For dri I make uh, videos on YouTube, so they've lent me the car for one year. Where are you coming from? London. London. This has been an interesting turn in events, guys. Turns out that I was not literally not allowed in Switzerland with this car. I've been given a bunch of papers right now. Um, and I've actually had to buy new insurance for this car to drive it in Switzerland and pay customs because as a Swiss resident, I can't drive a UK car here. I don't really know. It's probably been about an hour and a half that we've been held at customs. They wouldn't want to let me into the country. I've made it into the country now, but I do need to come back tomorrow um, to do some sort of customs and get interviewed by the customs people. However, all we care about is we're going to Milan tonight. We honestly thought they were going to impound the car. We're good, let's go. Let's hop in the car, we're very late now. But uh, yeah, cheers, cheers Switzerland, <laughs> lovely. You thought you were going to Swiss, my, my friend? I thought I was going to Switzerland, but they're not letting me out of the customs thing now. So they're saying go back, but there's nowhere to go back. Will you finally let me into your country, Switzerland? Okay, attempt number 672 to getting into Switzerland. At the borderline. Oh yes, finally we had to passport again. Please stop your engine. Do you know this? Shall I go through this red light just to piss them off? <laughs> God, what a nightmare. Okay, I think we came into Switzerland at 3.30 or something. It's now 5.30 and we've done about 25 meters. <laughs> I'm not speeding either because it's Switzerland. So it's gonna be a long drive, three hours and 46 minutes to our hotel in Milan. Let's do this. Okay. Please focus. Thank you. I'm editing as we speak and I woke up to a huge storm. It was literally like the apocalypse. And <laughs> I think we all are, we're all like zombies in this car. The level of jokes has gone like way down. <laughs> the conversations going on in this car right now, the quality is shocking. So I woke up in the during the apocalypse. Oh, 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 <laughs> we're not in Switzerland anymore. That's another update. We're in Italy. I also apologize. Uh, today was basically just the entire day in the car. Not the most fascinating content. We missed Zurich, which I'm very disappointed in. Uh, but unfortunately, you saw you were with us that customs delay. So we couldn't go to the checkpoint, which was in Zurich. Apparently it was beautiful. Uh, got a bunch of messages actually from people who were there. So it was very disappointing that we couldn't go. I personally adore Milan. It's one of my favorite places in Europe. Why? Why? <laughs> oh, we got you now, boy. There are some beautiful areas of Milan. Um, there's a good atmosphere. The food is really nice, but also it is the single city I've been to with the most beautiful women of anywhere in the entire world. It's crazy. <laughs> like it is not normal. Sorry, I'm gonna get carried away right now. There's a lot of cities with very pretty people, but like all fairly similar, right? <laughs> Whereas Milan, they're from everywhere and anywhere, fashion capital of the world. <laughs> Cut. We gotta cut this. You see what I mean about the level of conversation? This is this is bad. I mean, all good. I see that. So there's a police escort going on right now. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? I was not expecting this. Uh, there's a police bike right there. Oh look, they're blocking off the roundabout. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Send boys to Gryffindor for you. Yes, this is awesome. The police in Italy is so much cooler than the police in Switzerland. Jeez. <laughs> Watch out the speed limit here. I think you're speeding, Amrit. Okay, you don't okay. want to get caught. Waze just told me there's police in the area. It's kind of right. You can tell this makes the loudest noise. How are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. You're going up everywhere. Awesome. Anyways, I'm using my voice. Right. I'm going to say hi to a few people. 
Can you grab this? Ah, uh, thank you. It's a fun car. How you doing? You good? Thank you so much. Milan is awesome. Voice is done, huh? Everything. Me, my everything is done. How you doing? You good? He's got the fat. He's got the same Delaney fat. I've got my t-shirt. How you doing, bro? Good too. Yeah. The smoke grenades. Joss is literally just chucking stuff out the window. He's like, here, have it. There you go. There you go. There you go. Have it all. <laughs> this is what Josh does. He just gets the crowd like going crazy. I just filmed the whole outro and then they started talking over the mics. So I'm going to do it again. This was an epic but very, very hectic day today. We've made it to the grid finally. I think we're some of the last people. But at least you saw that Team Alpha entrance, that was insane. I'm so getting copyrighted for this song in the background. Oh well. Gumball is crazy, my last day on Gumball today. I'm now going to be heading back to get some rest because I am knackered. So thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed that, subscribe. Oh, they're back! And I'm just going to say bye quickly, thank you, bye bye! Let's go! Bet!